What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to Canada. So today in this video, we're going to show you all things Canadian food. Are you hungry? Because I'm hungry. I'm starving. Let's go. <laughs> So for the first food, it's gonna be a poutine because it's the most popular Canadian food and it's known around the world. If you don't know what it is, it's basically fries, gravy, and cheese. But cheese is key. And this is why we are here at Fromagerie Victoria because I heard that it, it's the best. They actually make the cheese right there. So we got the goods, but we got way too much, so I recruited help. <laughs> got a lot of poutine, wanna help? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have three different kinds. Mine is a small oh, popcorn no. chicken one. <laughs> and then David got a smoked meat one. And then the last, the last one is a large traditional like what do you call it? Classic? Yeah. Like classic style poutine. They look amazing. So no matter what you put on the poutine, the base needs to always be the same. It's fries, gravy, and squeaky cheese or cheese curds. Tracy got the poutine with popcorn chicken. There's a lot of cheese and the cheese does look amazing. It does look very good. I feel or like Or actually, I would say phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Told you. My stepdad told me that apparently we say phenomenal all the time, so now we're kind of self conscious about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if it's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the best I ever had in my life. <laughs> the, the cheese is always the key, and there's a say like the squeaky cheese because it actually squeaks when you like eat it. And this is squeaking around my teeth right now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which makes it a 10 out of 10. So poutine, check, that was very good. So Up good. to the next one. One more thing that's very Canadian food-wise is a beaver tail. And so, just, before, just before you panic and you think that we're eating beaver, no. it, it's not, it's a pastry. And normally they have these like on ski hills. At the bottom of the hill it's, or at the top of the yeah, hill, they'll have a beaver tail. It's like, a very like wintery snack. Yeah. We've got the goods, we're gonna go eat in the car because it's kind of cold in here. So beaver tail is basically, it just looks like a beaver tail in that sense, but it's a piece of dough and it's deep fried and it's usually pretty like chewy and good. The original is cinnamon sugar coating, like butter with cinnamon sugar, but we went full on Canadian and we got a maple sauce on the top. So, you ready? It brings me back to my childhood skiing. That's good. Okay, let's try this. I'm the biggest fan of maple syrup in the entire world. Like I can literally take a, a glass, put a straw in it and just drink it. Mm. That's a good beaver tail. So I do have to say as much as this one's good, I my top like all time favorite is actually the classic with just the cinnamon sugar. And sometimes I have one with maple butter, but yeah. Definitely check them out if you have the chance to. The only bad thing about beaver tails is that they're very sticky. So when you're done, like I have, I have some maple spread in my all beard right now. Everywhere. All my fingers are sticky, but that's that, that that's part of it. It's but part it's, of the experience. It depends what topping you get. That's yeah. for sure. But now, want to try a Justin Bieber snack? Yeah, so <laughs> I've seen these. Let's go see if we can find them. Okay, let's go. Other things that are very Canadian is Tim Horton and Justin Bieber. So Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber did a collaboration and now we have Tim Biebs. I really just everyone wants to call them Bieber balls because they're Tim bits. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, so let's try them. So the first one is birthday cake. The coating outside is really good. It's actually a very good Tim bit. It's actually better than a normal Tim bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so the second one is like a sour cream glazed chocolate chip, basically. I mean, I don't have any chocolate chips on it. I'm one of my favorite donuts is sour cream glazed. So it's good. I like it. 
Nothing special though. There's no chocolate on it. No. The last one sounds fancy. It's like chocolate white fudge or something like that. It's good, but I still don't get like a white fudge or anything like that. It just tastes like normal chocolate. Birthday cake for the win. I agree. It's pretty good though. But birthday cake, definitely the best one. And something I couldn't resist was getting a Boston cream because, well, Boston creams are amazing. Mm. Off to the next food spot. We are here in the heart of noisy Montreal, Quebec to eat a true Montreal style bagel at the most famous place probably in Canada, which is Saint Viator Bagel. Are you excited? Tracy loves Very bagel. <laughs> Saviatar Bagel is a true institution here in Montreal. They're actually making bagel here 24-7 since 1957. It's been 64 years. Got the goods, back to the car, because I forgot how cold minus 10 is, and I'm freezing. It is freezing indeed. It's got to be higher than, it's got to be colder than minus 10 with a wind chill. Well, I can't move my hands. So we got an original, which is like a sesame one, and it feels so warm already. And then I got a blueberry, and you cannot get fresher than this. That is for sure. A perfect amount of chewiness. So to eat a proper bagel, you need cream cheese, but first bite, mm, it's so good. No cream cheese first, then I'm gonna add some, but yeah. Can't get better than that. Now that I've put a sesame seed all over the car, let's go eat a smoked meat, a Montreal smoked meat. So the next place is called Schwartz. It is the best smoked meat in Montreal Describe by far. Meat. It's uh, it's some sort of like uh, deli, deli meat, meat. Yeah. I guess. Warm deli meat in a sandwich. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite things here in Montreal. And Schwartz is the place to go. You'll see they literally have a line in front of the store 12 months a year, every single day of the year. So we're gonna go have to wait in line even though it's like minus 15 or something. And uh, we were not really dressed to wait. Not at all, but we're gonna do it. I feel like we ate literally everything in the car. <laughs> Napkins, we're gonna need a lot of those I feel like. It's not that bad. So you can get the, the smoked meat like different Massive. ways, basically like uh, extra lean, lean, medium, or like fat or whatever. So depend how you like your meat, medium is the best way to have it. Can what? Like... How, does this, how does this work? <sighs> like how does that, how is this a sandwich? It's a tower. I normally like take the top bread off, eat a little bit of the meat and then make it a sandwich again. So this is what it looks like and it's so, so good. It has like a nice smokiness, like it's the best. I truly missed a good old smoked meat. So that is gonna be it for Montreal. Now let's go to Halifax. So we are here in Alderley Landing in beautiful and very rainy Halifax to find something that is very Halifax-like, a lobster roll. So sadly because of COVID, there's a lot of different places that are closed right now. A lot of like the very famous places, but this is heaven seafood and I heard a lot of good things about it. I never personally try it, but we've got the goods, so let's go try it out. Okay, so I am a weird and bad maritimer Nova Scotian because lobster actually is not my favorite. Um, I'm gonna try it by anyway. I like like little pieces, but not like a whole lobster. But my family actually has a tradition that on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve, one or the other, we actually do a lobster full seafood feast. Um, and David coming from Quebec, he really appreciates when that happens because he loves the lobster. 
but like the Maritimes, like East Coast Canada has the best seafood like in the world. And Maine in the States because yeah. you're like on that same coast. Yeah. Especially the lobster. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. It does actually look like a really good one, to be honest. It's really good. It is really good. Would I order it at a restaurant? No, but that's just because I'm not a huge fan of lobster. So mm -hmm. the true tell, let's see what David thinks. I am actually a big fan of lobster, and I do like lobster rolls normally, so. That is a good lobster roll. There's so much lobster, buttery bun, a little bit of mayonnaise. It's delicious. Mm. That's pretty much all a lobster roll is. <laughs> lobster, mayo, onion, butter roll. It's very really good. So guys, we have one more Canadian snack and we have been waiting to do this since we arrived in Canada, but we were waiting to have little kiddos around, which we are gonna have tonight. And I almost wish that we would have been able to do it at a sugar shack. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately with everything that's going on, it's, it's not possible. Close, yeah, so we're gonna, <laughs> it's the first time ever that I'm gonna do that yeah. on my own because yeah. like Tracy said, normally it's just at sugar shacks. Yeah. So we're gonna give it our best shot. We're gonna I need, hope it works. We're, yes, I'm, I'm confident though. I'm very confident. Okay, so we're gonna okay. need popsicle sticks and snow. And maple syrup. Let's go. So last Canadian snack is gonna be maple on the snow. I'm very excited about that mm -hmm. because I love anything maple. A little change of plan, there's not gonna be kids. Good thing because that I'm a big kid. we're losing the snow and we need to do it like ASAP. Yeah. Tomorrow we're not gonna have any snow. No, and no. yes, we have very cool shirts. Let's go. Okay, step one, maple syrup, the Canadian one, into a pot. How much? I don't know. I'd say that's enough. Okay. And then you bring it to a boil. Okay, step two is to go get a tray of clean snow. Okay, got the snow. Let's see if our thing worked. Pour the syrup into that, but just to make it easier to pour on the snow. And now you pour the very hot maple syrup directly on the snow and the difference in temperature is gonna kind of solidify it pretty quickly. Just like that. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> needs to be on the snow a little bit more. Just like that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Just like at the sugar shack. It's pretty good, but it's always super sticky. <laughs> so we are very full because we've been eating those snacks for the past week. Yes, we have. But we really enjoyed and we hope you enjoyed too. <laughs> and otherwise, see you in the next one.